you know, I said I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to make any more vids talking about male-female relationships for a while because a lot of people have selective hearing or people think that you're talking about them per se or especially somebody you know and this things, some of these things hit too close to home. Let me say this, and I hate doing disclaimers because, you know, some people, they just hear what they want to hear. First of all, sisters, and this is not all black women, okay? Let me say this again. This is not all black women. Those women out there who make poor choices, who have friends who make poor choices, who have family members who uh, make poor choices, you guys take a lot of the things that are being said or being told to y'all very, very, very personal, okay? I did a video the other day talking about the 19-year-old that was on welfare, okay? She comes, she comes from an impoverished background, okay? She claimed to be a straight-A student. She claimed to have common sense, but she did the very same thing her mom did. Then turned around and gave an interview to a white journalist, further stereotyping black, young black women as nothing but baby-making machines or welfare recipients. Then she put her mom's business out on blast. Then she put up other family members' business on blast. That's what I, 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 I didn't have sympathy for because there's no excuse this day and age for us young sisters to keep making the same mistakes. But then you have women in their 20s that do the same thing. They go from man to man, giving giving these guys kids to have enough to get better than expect some other brother to take care of another man's responsibility. Then you got the women who are in their 30s and 40s who have chosen the wrong guys or made bad decisions. And every time somebody say something, Especially a black man, you ready to attack. We didn't create these issues. There were people outside of created, and unfortunately, some of our people, and let's be honest, a lot of sisters fell for it. You blame your mother, you blame your aunt, you blame your cousin, you blame your teacher, you blame those women in March and sided with the so called feminist movement. I am sick and tired of trying to explain to y'all when I say something, I'm not talking about all. I did a video about the Octo Mom. I used her as an example because she is a woman of color. I was pointing out the, the hypocrisy that the media and people have when it comes to women of color with children. I used her because she was in the media most recently. Okay? Some people thought I was defending her. I wasn't defending her per se. Now, if I see a woman of color being disrespected, I would call it out. Just because you black don't mean I'm going to defend defend or agree with everything you do or say. And I don't expect you to do the same with me or any other brother. But y'all got attitude with black men, but other men disrespect y'all all over YouTube. There are videos disrespecting black women. As soon as a brother say something, y'all ready to question our manhood, question our intelligence, question if we right or wrong. There's way more videos out here on YouTube with sisters bashing black men than it is black men bashing black women. We're trying to tell y'all that some of y'all got fucked up dispositions and these little girls are picking it up. What does an 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 year old have to be so fucking angry about? They haven't experienced enough life yet. Y'all chase after these no good dudes, and then you want to then you get mad at the guys who don't want to put up with it. I've told y'all I have family members, I've had friends, I have acquaintances that make the same bonehead ass mistake, and then they turn around and they take the anger out on the ones closest to them. Now the, there are sisters out here on YouTube, and there are sisters who subscribe to me who know I have never disrespected a black woman, but y'all have been nothing but disrespectful to me. Not all y'all, let me rephrase that. I've had women lie on me. I have women come to the channel, misquote what I've said, go to other channels, spread rumors about me, and I still took the high road. But I will not, I repeat, I will not keep defending y'all when y'all do fucked up shit. Some of y'all have a man personality. Y'all don't know when to step back and just observe. Ask yourself, why is it that your mothers and grandmothers and aunts who, are, who were married for long periods of time? Because they knew when to be quiet. And this is nothing about male being a male chauvinist. It's nothing but knowing what you, your role. I 
I can't tell a woman how to how to how to think like a woman. So why would y'all tell a man how to act like a man? No other group of people do the shit that we do to each other. But now I see why some of these guys are putting these videos up. Because no matter how nice nice I am or other brothers are, y'all still nitpick. If you don't like what I say, don't come to my channel. If you don't like what some other person say, don't go to their channel. But when you you leave your comments and then you then you then you disappear for a day or two and you come and you still want to start, I'm not going to get into it with you. And some of us who are over the age of thirty know better. Are y'all lies that fucking miserable that y'all got to keep being so angry? Black men are tired of fighting or competing with their own women. I've done the respect the black female uh, YouTube community. And y all y'all do is just nitpick and fuck with the wrong men. But there are guys out here really call y'all child name and do all kinds of heinous shit to y'all. I never put up a video mocking y'all. I never called y'all child damn name. I never call y'all bitches in my in my um videos. But I get called nigga, I get called motherfucker, I get lied on, and, and then you then you expect me to respect you. Then I even leave the fucking comments up so people can gauge themselves what the discussion was about. Y'all making my my choice and a lot of other brother choice very easy. Now I see why some brothers say the stuff they say about sisters being difficult to get along with. And I'm not saying all. And I don't want any of those female subscribers or who come to my channel to think that I'm anti-black woman. I am not. I'm anti-stupidity from certain black women. Just like y'all should be anti-stupidity from certain black men. Don't get mad at me because I said because I said I don't want to deal with a woman with children anymore. Don't get mad at me because I don't want to deal with a hood rat. Don't get mad at me if I don't want to live my life sleeping one fucking eye open. Don't get mad at me if I don't feel like fighting a bunch of dudes just to get get with you. Grow the fuck up. 